So today I am tinkering around with a 2011 Chevy Tahoe. The key fob, um, I quit working on it a long time ago. They replaced the battery in it and it worked since. And I was going to try to re try to program it in with the Autel. So most of, from what I gather, a lot of the 2011 down, you could do from the dash. You didn't need a computer. But the 2000 11 up you did need a computer and i've never tried it with all till so we'll give it a shot the well, first thing we're going to do is take either key i do have two key fobs to program turn the key to the accessory position i do have the all right here and the bluetooth uh, plug is already plugged in and i have already done this just full disclosure just to make sure i knew what i was doing before i got on video we're going to go to service we're gonna go to mobilizer and keys. We're gonna go to GM. This thing is, the subscription has expired and I was worried it wouldn't let me do it on the kind of that, but we're gonna read the VIN, automatic, and then read the VIN. Well, it is seriously cold. It's eight degrees outside. So, read the VIN and it is a one speed automatic transfer or transfer case. It doesn't have four low that I can tell. It does have automatic HVAC, it does not have trailer brakes and without RPO Z95. Now on that, I kind of just took a, a guess, you know, but it is a 2011 light duty truck. Uh, Chevy 5.3 V8 4x4 Chevy Tahoe LT that is correct so it'll get the communication with the vehicle shouldn't take long go to hot functions right here hot functions and our options are supplemental inflatable restraint body control module or remote control door lock receiver we want to go to that remote control door lock receiver program key fobs now I'm just gonna do click key fob one you guys can see I'm hoping I'm getting a good shot of this all right it's telling me, telling me this procedure will erase any other key fobs that are hooked up so if you've got one that works and one that doesn't you're gonna need both of those to program them both back in so we're gonna go ahead and press enter or okay so you can see both the key fobs are programmed at this time I'm gonna go ahead and hit program and even if they were both saying no, it would still work like that. You see it says procedure in progress. Now it says program. Now it says program. I go up here and hit the lock and unlock button and hold both of those down. You'll hear a chime when it's programmed. And you see it says no. You heard it chime twice and that says yes. So that one is programmed now. Now this one is the one that we've been using and it's glitchy. The lock button on it, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. And I will be replacing this soon. But you, every time I try to hold both buttons down, it just unlocks the door. So this one is programmed, so I'm not gonna mess with it much because if it comes unprogrammed, I don't know if I can fix it because of it being jacked up. But anyway, that is how to program with Autel. When you're done, you actually hit the done button. Procedure in progress, done. So now both key fobs work. I get a ton of questions about the Autel because I use it in multiple different videos and it's the only scan tool that I have. The subscription is out on it, but even though the subscription is out from the last time I updated it, it's still serving me very well every time I need it. Um, I can't think of anything I've tried to get it to do that it didn't do because of the subscription, but I do plan on updating it at a later date. But uh, 
anytime I make a bit anytime I use it and I have time I try to make a video that way it shows how much of a process how much of a pain in the butt that procedure is and all that stuff I've used it to program injector codes uh, flow rates I guess what I should have said use it all the time to clear codes force regens all that stuff and uh, I know there are better tools than the Autel, this Autel, but at the same time, for what I pay for it, it's done me really good. Link's in the description to that. And I will try to find a link to the key fob that I'm gonna order for this truck and leave it in the description as well. I'm sure it'll be off Amazon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope everybody's having a great day and I'll see you in the next video.